They say that everything's all good, but we don't really think we can trust the oil and gas industry to honestly tell us whether or not they've done something that's harmful. There's a call for more information a day after a refinery in Burnaby emitted a noxious smell that blanketed the region. There's a lot of kids in the city, elders. I've got a kid. Um, so, yeah, I was pretty disturbed by it. Sean Villiers is among the many people in Metro Vancouver who smelled something Sunday morning. The Vancouver resident believes there's been a delay in information or a lack of it and is among a group of people who have started a letter writing campaign to MLAs and MPs looking for answers. We want a, a full investigation into what happened, full disclosure on what was released and how much, and we want full accountability from the Burnaby Refinery or any oil and gas company that does this kind of thing. Uh, and also we want to update safety protocols to make sure that people are getting warned on time uh, when this sort of thing happens so they can avoid it. City News started getting reports about the strong chemical odor around 8.30 Sunday morning, with some saying they felt dizzy or sick. About an hour and a half later, the Vancouver Fire Chief said there was a hydrocarbon industrial event in Burnaby. But it took a few more hours before Metro Vancouver issued an air quality statement and for Parkland Refinery to release a statement. In it, it said it experienced what it called an issue with one of its processing units. I think... There's a lot to be revealed still about the, the full nature of this event. A UBC professor of medicine says while the incident is concerning, just because people smelt something bad, it doesn't mean it's directly toxic to them. He also would like to see more transparency. For the company to get ahead of that and actually release the data um, and, and do so in a, in a way that's understandable, I think it can actually help them. Late Monday afternoon, Metro Vancouver did release some more information, saying it monitors three air contaminants emitted from the refinery, particulate matter, nitrogen dioxide, and sulfur dioxide, adding that while sulfur dioxide levels did increase, it didn't exceed Metro Vancouver's air quality objectives. They say that there, there's, it was a normal, small incident, these kind of uh, minimizing language. Uh, and if it's such a normal, small incident, why don't they tell us what was released, how much was released, what sort of health effects people could expect from this. Metro Vancouver says it also continues to assess Parkland's compliance with their air quality permit. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.